What's up guys, welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change your oil and your oil filter for only 15 bucks. She's gonna love me in my Chevy van and that's all right with me. Today we're changing the oil in our 1994 Chevy G20 van, but all the steps I'm gonna show you goes for any vehicle you have. First of all, you need to get the right oil filter and the right oil, and that's the first step. Once you have your oil and your filter, the first thing you want to do is turn your car on, let it warm up for five minutes so that oil is nice and warm, so when you take the filter off, it comes out nice. Another step here is to jack up your car. You don't have to do this. You can use ramps or a jack to lift it up so you can get under there. I've just opted out to use the jack today. There's a fair bit of clearance under this vehicle. And you'll also want a bucket or some kind of container for the old oil to drain into. Alright guys, so the next step is you want to find your sump plug, which is this guy right here. And you're going to loosen that off and that's where all the main oil from the sump is going to come from. And once we get that off and drain the oil, then we'll proceed to take the filter off. So let's take this guy off and drain the oil. You're going to need a wrench and the size for the Chevy uh, sump plug is actually a... 9 sixteenths. So we're gonna go ahead, loosen this off, and drain the oil. And there you go. Okay, so once the oil has finished draining from the sump, you wanna put your sump back in and then get your wrench and tighten it back up. You don't need to over tighten this, just, just as long as it's tight. Okay, so now you're going to take off your oil filter. These guys can get a little tight. So this can get a bit messy as well. Sometimes you might want to wear gloves or something like that, but basically oil is going to come pouring out of here like that. You just want to keep loosening it off, all the way off, and, oops, there it is. Keep going, and just plop it in the bucket. So wait for all the ex extra oil to drain from there. Alright, so before you install your new filter, you always want to get some oil, um, just some of the old oil that comes out, and lube up this rubber seal here. Um, this will make sure that you get a, a nice seal, and it actually protects the, uh, the rubber there. So always put a little coat of oil on this rubber seal here. So to put the new filter in, it just slides up and you're going to go righty tighty, just keep winding it up until you get it reasonably tight. You don't want to over tighten this because it is a rubber seal but it also wants to be, you know, just as tight as you can get it by hand is, uh, is definitely tight enough for an oil filter. Okay, that feels good there. And that's it. You've got your sump back in, you've got your oil filter back in, so then you've got to fill it with oil. Once you've filled up the oil, you want to get your dipstick, clean it off, put it back in. Pull it out again and then check to see if your oil is in the right spot. If it's not reading very well, what I like to do is I'll turn the car on, let it run for one minute, then come back and check it again. So one last step, I like to come underneath the car, check the sump plug, check the oil filter, make sure there's no leaks, and then you're good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope now you can go out and change your own oil for only a few dollars. Save yourself some money, and it's as easy as that. See you guys in the next video.